Edward here from the Crypto Viewing Group here. Before I get started going over the next session of the gold target, I want to plug my, my teammates here, the Crypto Viewing Group. I tell you, we just did a target, and it's going to be posted here pretty soon. Um, it was a crypto target, and it was this one here, this crypto. Gen, this DNA crypto, oh my god, oh my goodness, it was, it was, it was crazy, this is a cryptocurrency here, encrypt gen, for like tokenizing DNA, man, it's just so crazy, but here's the thing is that, um, yeah, I've been remote viewing for about 20 years now, I've had some pretty good success with remote viewing. I'm typically I'm not ever really impressed with results. Um, I'm because I'm always striving forward. I'm always, you know, I'm never satisfied with my work. So I'm, I'm I don't care if, if other people think it's amazing. Uh, to me it's like ah uh, I'm just on to the next thing. But what does excite me is when working on a team and you get this collaborative data and I have been we all three of us have been having a lot of co um, collaborative data with a lot of different targets but I'm telling you Dick Allgaier and myself we have ha been having a series of <laughs> sessions that are almost identical and this was one of them. It's just that blow that blows me away. That blows me away more than any. No matter how you know what target I'm working, if if it comes out good, like I say, I'm I'm all I'm I'm always under impressed with myself. I'm always pushing forward. I can always do better. The best is yet to come. That kind of thing, you know. So I'm never satisfied. But when when I'm working in a team, and and a team member has a, our site are almost identical that is freaking cool that just that's really freaking cool and that that's been ha happening here a lot so check out the crypto viewing group and check those sessions out it's very cool stuff all right that's my plug for the crypto viewing group all right back to the gold sessions this was uh february 9 and I uh, wanted to describe the location. All right, so get into water, and there's all this water, natural land, yada da 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 da, wet, and all that kind of stuff. And here I'm back into this area. Here, there's the, here's my object. Rocky, under, crusty, dark, drippy, dripping uh, under inside. Reminds me of a uh, underwater cave. That's what, that's an AOL of the signal, but I get an object and it's under barnacles and erosion, slick, slippery, like uh, like a cover. So it's covered uh, over here. This is inside or, or under. This is under, like it's stored away inside. And I get this AOL, Pirates of the Caribbean. And it feels like a beach that pirates <laughs> walking in water, 17th century. That's what it reminds me of. And the, the, the interesting thing about this is that in the research of this dude, uh, Carl Steinheimer, he was an actual pirate. He actually was a pirate. So that's very, very cool. Different century, though. But that, that, that was really cool. But that, that's my by location. Moving above the, the target, I'm getting these patches of land with the water moving through them here. Feels like a water area, maybe little islands inside the, the, the rivers there, whatever. Place feels like a place of mystery, something lost, buried here a long time. Something lost here or buried here a long time ago, that's the target. Like, uh, reminds me of like Mystery Island. I get the feeling there's a, a grid system. This is my dyslexia. A grib system. 
that was set up, like it was mapped out. I got it right here, grid. Grid system in place, why, um, why is there a grid system? Like a hideout, a place in which messages were kept in hidden places, like the, like the map that he made for his, his girlfriend. This is an AI, an aesthetic impact. I get the feeling there is a curse, like a curse was placed on this location, a stay away feel. But, there, but this area is known. People go through here, it's a route, and it is. People go through there, it's a route. There it is right here. This is Route 95, or Route 91 or whatever. People go through there, there's, people live there. There's, there's farms there. The idea is a gatekeeper. A designated person to stay at this location, a keeper, a gatekeeper, lots of mystery here, like a lot of ghosts, like the place is haunted, stay out, it's a warning, and AI yeah, was very interesting, like, like this, the ghost of this person, haunting the waters and saying, get out of here, stay away. <laughs> This was really cool. This was a cool session. I really liked this part here with the pirates. And then, then to find out the guy was an actual pirate. <laughs> that was really cool. So this stuff is there. It's buried. It's, it's under there. He buried this stuff. So anyway, this is session four. I'll have the whole session here. For people that want to watch the whole thing, I think I got one, one more, two more. I don't know, one or two left. Um, yeah, I, I know I definitely got one, one more that that I would want to post. But that's what this one is. Getting closer there, haunted by the ghosts of these these dudes saying, "Get out of here, stay away from my gold," and all that kind of cool stuff. So that's this session here. Hope you enjoy it. Check out the crypto viewing team with the crew here, Daz and Dick Allgaier. We got Hitomi from Japan. We got Benjamin, the Time Lord, the Time Lord, Benjamin. What a cool team and what, what cool targets. This was just really, <laughs> this was cool, man. Encryption, DNA, freaking crypto. Oh my, oh, it just, it just gets weirder and weirder, folks. But uh, that's it for this one, and many more to come. Six C F dash nine B X W Curve Wavy Point Slope Peak Curve Hard Solid
man-made and um, liquid. A6CF-9B XW Curve Curving around Semi soft natural. Brown, dark, blue, white, foamy. Dense, open, curved, inside, around, wooden, metallic, wet, dark, shadowed, under, Below. Curious. All right. I am getting object. Solid, rocky, shadowed, under, a will of the signal reminds me of an under water cave dark dripping under inside Rusty. Sensory dimensions, AI, AI, AOL, AOL is signal. Um, edged, sharp, prickly. Like uh, barnacles, um, erosion, erosion, dirty. What else? Slick. Slippery, slippery and I, I feel like I'm inside of like a object here. This 
is like almost like a cover. Or um, this is inside or under. Like um like it's stored away. Like it's stored away or inside. Able of a signal. Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what it reminds me of. That's what it reminds me of. You know, it feels like a beach. Pirates uh, stood on you know, walking through walking in water. Seven, 17th century reminds me reminds me of it feet above sorry location and describe and I'm getting like Island. Water. land open this feels like a watery area 
with an island or hang on, it feels like there's another Island near by. Kind of close. This feels like a place of mystery. Um, something lost here or buried here a long time ago. This is a mysterious place. Um, it's like Mystery Island. It's like Mystery Island. Um, I get this feeling. is a grid, a grid system that was set up was mapped out like it was mapped out Mapped out grid system in place. For what for? Why? Why? It's like a hideout? Hideout? Or like a, a place in which messages were kept. 
in hidden places. This is a, this is a mysterious place. feeling there is or a curse was placed on this location. This area is known. This area is known. This is known. What does that mean? It's no, it's no. You know, people go through there. You know, a root. Stay out or a stay out kind of yeah. Okay, um, 
the idea of a gatekeeper. The idea of a gatekeeper, like, um, Designated person. A designated person. To stay at this location. Gatekeeper. Keeper. Gatekeep. A lot of mysteries here. Ghosts. Yeah. Like the place is haunted. No warning. Stay out. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting.